Welcome back, you lovable sheep. Today is going to be a little different. Instead of just telling you, you know, the news or showing you a trailer or yada yada yada, just me talking, you know, nothing interesting. I'm trying something new today. And hopefully you will find it badass like the other things on this show. I'm going to try and review a movie. So last weekend, I saw Limitless. And here is my review. Limitless stars Bradley Cooper as Eddie, an author who is having numerous problems in his life, such as depression and writing his first novel. But this all changes around once an old friend gives him a pharmaceutical that gives him the full potential of his brain. He was once the nobody but became the everybody. Eddie gained limitless power through a tablet a day. But the movie's power to take it seriously proved it otherwise. Sure, the pill can make you rich and powerful, but this limitless power fails to raise one's senses of morality and sensibility. Sure, Eddie may talk smart, but his motivations and ways of fixing relationships are ridiculous to the point of disbelief that what you are seeing is actually happening. There are a few scenes in the film that are just downright pointless, where Eddie gets into a fight and references old fighting and martial arts films to improve his fighting abilities. This never happens again. Why doesn't he ever reference anything else when there are numerous opportunities to do so? But don't get me wrong, Cooper makes a likable and charismatic character, not one you will end up hating later in the film. There are also some very nice visuals in the film, but the majority of the direction becomes repetitive and a nuisance. But the film really never disappoints in the entertainment department. The film possesses numerous characters to care about and puts them in situations that leave you at the edge of your seat, but not always. Robert De Niro makes as a great supporting role and the same goes for Abby Cornish. Overall, Limitless is repetitive, visually unentertaining, odd, but has a few characteristics that remain flawless such as the performances. But don't take it the wrong way. Limitless is a good film, it's just not great. Limitless really isn't a film to go and spend $15 on in the theater. If you've already seen it, you probably won't see it again because of its faults, not making it worth the second viewing. I suggest you wait until it goes out on DVD and make it a rental. It's at least worth that. It's not that memorable for a second viewing, but it's worth the first one. In the end, Limitless is a 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. What would you do?